Hello, we are the Formula SAE Electric Capstone Team, a group of fourth-year mechanical engineering students. Our project was to build a vehicle compliant with the 2020 Formula SAE Electric Vehicle Competition Rules, where students from different universities across the world compete together with their own electric vehicle, built and designed by the students themselves. We have laid the groundwork for future teams from the university to do just that by designing a fully functioning electric vehicle essentially from scratch that the next cohort students can improve upon, fabricate, and use to race against other teams. We've designed a suspension system inspired by Formula One cars, in particular that they could be adjusted at the track based on the conditions on the day. We also needed to find out the forces exerted onto the tire during competition, so we built a solver in MATLAB to tell us just that. We took tire test data from a non-profit organization called the Tire Test Consortium and used a tire model to find the lateral forces on the tire, giving us some very valuable insight into the performance of the vehicle in competition. On top of the suspension sits the chassis, which holds all the subsystems in place. So to find out if it would hold up to the trials of competition, we needed to make sure our simulation and modeling were as accurate and trustworthy as possible. We used an old chassis and physically tested the torsional stiffness of it and compared those results to our simulation. We found a consistent 30% difference in results, so we can apply that to the model of our new chassis and be confident that it will stand the test. We designed a pedal box, considering driver preferences on things such as best distance between pedals from surveys. It can also move back and forth to account for different driver heights. We've also designed enclosures, mounts, and brackets to secure the battery, motor, and differential in place. To prevent the motor and motor controller from overheating, our heat management system was designed to use liquid cooling so that we wouldn't need to use heavy fins. Finally, to reduce drag on the vehicle, we've designed a simple nose cone to go over the front end, which we got by comparing drag on cones made with different curves in a simulated wind tunnel. To wrap up, we're extremely proud of what we've been able to accomplish amid little in the way of predecessors and shutdowns relating to the pandemic. We were originally going to fabricate the entire vehicle as well, but that was halted. There is much more opportunity for improvement, like looking into strength properties of composite materials for the nose cone slash flooring. We hope you've enjoyed this little glimpse into the journey we took to get here and are just as excited as we are for the future. Thank you.